Hey guys, welcome to Lenzo Adventures. So we've got my brother here and we have his Colorado Ute. He's been wanting to show off for a bit. So it's a bit of a rig rundown sort of video. So what is it, Tim? Well, it's a Colorado. So she's an RC Colorado with the full JJ1 in it. So that's Isuzu. So they made a crossover and this is um, Isuzu basically in a Collie. So yeah, right. Well, you've obviously done a lot of mods to it. You've seen, money it. Pit. <laughs> you've, you've seen a lot of my videos already. So after Fraser, didn't you almost blow it up? I did blow it up. <laughs> so what happened? So you went and got a tune first. Yeah. So I got a tune. Took it out of the Fraser with like 209 horsepower, that was still pretty fun. But then picked up some bad fuel somewhere in Fraser. And then a couple, about a month after Fraser, the old girl just went pop. <laughs> and that wasn't went, at the shop, at the mechanic? Went pop in the shop, it was going in for more power actually. Yep, and it, it went get, pop out of the shop. Lined up, yep. Bad fuel, killed all the injectors and just put a hole straight through cylinder number four. BDS, wow. they built this thing. What they did So BDS is, Bundaberg. Yeah, BDS that's Bundy. That's mechanic place. So awesome for building, you know, big power cars. So they built this, a quote off insurance, so they paid about 10.7 grand. So I was really lucky to get wow, it on insurance grand. because they cover bad fuel, so I was lucky. Yeah, so I just paid a bit extra for all the extra sort of stuff. BDS, they didn't make a stock motor, they built it with like a forge crank, forge rods, bigger pistons. Yeah, all forge stuff to kind of just strengthen it up a bit. Yeah, and... Well, let's, let's check it out, man. Open your bonnet, let's have a look at it. So how long have you had it since you've had all the work done to it, since a complete brand new motor? So you didn't have a car for what, like two months now? Yeah, about two and a half months, just yep. because it broke down just for Chrissy. Worst time. And so then, um, look at this, yeah. pretty much like how neat and tidy is that? It's a bit dusty at the moment, but you know. Yeah, we just added a bit of mud holes and whatnot. So they, they did an awesome job. And the cooler, I've been literally got all the, what are like sporty. This like, is called a HBD blanket. So they put all these in with the build for good workmanship because it was in there for a while. So they were, I was really fortunate that they looked after me a fair bit. It was about 10 grand for the rebuild and I paid extra. 10 grand for the rebuild? Yeah, about 10 and grand for the rebuild. You paid nothing for it? Um, I paid a little bit extra for the extra performance mods so because the injectors are stuffed. So I wow. got big 30 plus injectors. Got clean and tidy. 44 mil turbo. You literally haven't been for much mud yet, have you? Like, no, I've been so trying to clean. avoid it because she looks clean. <laughs> so <laughs> with all that and then the, uh, with the touch combo, ECU cut touch combo, she's running about two 272 horsepower with like 770 knot meters of torque so wow it gets up and parties that's for sure oh, yeah. <laughs> so yeah it's okay. fun having it up the beach that's wow. for sure uh what's it like on fuel like, it's not too bad on fuel it's gotten a bit worse with the rooftop 10 on yeah quite more. a bit worse actually add, just add done no, but that's just like wind drag but yeah. apart from that before i put that on it was still so good on fuel like yeah. probably around 10 liters per hundred yeah. maybe better so. so you can get what down to brisbane what a full tank or something or half tank well she's got a full she's got a long range tank in it so it's got a bigger tank again didn't you take her up to early beach probably? yeah yeah, for a trip. took it all the way up to Ellie Beach, so... Some like a nine hour drive, 10 hour drive. Yeah, so that was a four it was tuned, so that was... Full tank got me all the way up there, and driving around before I had to fill up. Wow, so. that's pretty cool. Mm. Alright, so obviously you got a lot of mods. Let's talk about your bulba. So it's ARB bulba. ARB bulba, with the wedge. Deluxe, so. These King's spotties, or what are these? No, nah, these are XTMs, so they're XTMs. only cheapies, but yep. they do the job. The winch, is that the... This is Dominator? King's winch. King's Dominator one? Just all the, all the basically the um, the King's catalogue, I just sort of got on the ute. Yeah, it's the best way. <laughs> so I got the um, well. King's awning, got the King's rooftop tent, King's winch. Um, I've got King's drawers in the back. I've got tread tracks mounted up here. This is pretty cool on the bottom here. So King's lights in the back. Is that custom? The, uh, yeah, so this bar? is a custom um, rear bar. I got Jason Lewis and Brizzy building. So I did a quick trip down there. Yeah, so because when I first brought it, the um, the sports bar on the back was all pushed in and dented in Ended when I first brought it because yeah. these old people were reversing or something. So. Wow. Got a rear paint, got all the badges blacked out. Wow. And got a rear bar, so. That's cool. So if someone ever reverses into me in the car park again, I'm safe. Yeah, you're <laughs> pretty safe. Because aren't they normally silver, these badges? And yeah, they're all silver, so you got them. Um, I got it, went to a panel beater. Cool. So you got a couple lights on the top. Yeah, a few so lights. So you got, you got two roof racks, you got one on the back, one on the front. Yep, on That's cam. That's a good design because normally when you have a, a rooftop tent, you got no. Well, room she's pretty heavy, else. so I wanted to get it up the front there because oh, yeah. I got it weighed today, actually, and it's about 2.66 tons. So wow, <laughs> this is getting pretty that's fucking heavy. That's, so. right, that's what have you got in here? You got a lot more goodies in here, eh? Oh, fuck. There's a mouldy old wrap here. I'll throw that up there. <laughs> you like your wrap here? That's what you eat. Yeah, like I left it in the fridge and forgot it was in there. <laughs> so I got a um, brass Mickey fridge, you know, I got the. Yep. Um, How's this way? It slides out? Yeah, it just slides, just King's drawers, you know, yep. just the basic. Yep, yep. All the shit you need, driving around. What are these little wings? Uh, yeah, so they're the wings, so they unscrew off here. This one yep. I have all my recovery gear in, so. You have like a switch or something like that? You got your. It's pretty pressure? flush. Oh, yeah. There's like a whole recovery, recovery kit in there, plus extra strap and soft shackles. Fits quite a bit. Yeah, so it's just easy access. And under there, it's just got my hose, just nothing special. But have you got yeah. your compressor hooked up as well? Yeah, compressor's hooked up. So it's a matter of opening this up. Yep. And then, what, just pulling up like that, pulling yep. your cord out. 
pumping her up. Yep, so it, she's it, on. Is it just sitting there all the time? or is it Yeah, like... so she's mounted in there all the time. That's cool. It's hardwired up because so I got sick of untangling it. Second battery as well for a dual battery system? 140 amp, yeah. So let's just connect up to your front battery. Try to keep the fridge running as much as I can. Yeah, yeah. especially keep those beers cold. Yeah, that's the main thing. <laughs> beers cold, that's pretty cool. So what sort of lift have you got? Is it two oh, and a half? She's only got a two inch lift. Two, two inch lift? I wanted to keep it legal. The other unit I had had like a five inch lift and 30 threes. So it's it, pretty cool, but it's just like super illegal. Lights the coolest thing I like about your car is the little turbo, was it the switch thing? that change the... Oh, yep, yep. So if I start her up, she's got, um, I don't know if you're going to come closer or not. She's got a um, touch combo. So you can slide between tunes. That's tune two. Um, that's tune one. So the flick of a... Um, thumb and that's 258 then that's 272 258 272 so daily 258 so it's just less wear and then you also got just for um kill wank factor it's got the um you know the ramble idle and um you know this um, one. Give us so that's a normal <laughs> that's a normal yeah so that's true just for a bit of um you know dicking around <laughs> What's that other one? It, what, it just pops, pops. That's the Ramble Idol. That's cool. Show it back. So that's just pure wank factor. Sounds like a big V8 or something. Like, how cool is that? You just see that traffic light? Bang, bang. <laughs> <laughs> do you do it sometimes? See that traffic lights? And just sometimes, like, if I'm feeling like a dickhead. <laughs> Thanks to like a big V8 or something like that, when it's just like, hey it's Tim, show us your motor, mate. <laughs> pretty good. I don't know if it's good, but yeah. I mean, as you can see, got to dick the, around the with amount of power it puts out already. And what have you got? You got a nice head unit as well? Yeah, so she's got um, just a basic yeah. head unit. Yep, top I wouldn't recommend it. They're not very good. Oh, they're very good. But yeah, apart from that, she's LTR, so it's got cruise control and shit. windows, so. you got snorkel. Nothing really special. So what's the uh, best trip you've been on already? Um, probably the funnest trip was Fraser Island. Fraser Island, okay. That was a lot of fun. So what made it so fun? Um, you know, just new car, being yeah. at a place we've been to many times, but yeah. was, you saw your mates getting drunk and stuff, and yeah, the Honda Nala Rocks as well. Oh, that's right, yep, well, you see one of my other videos, guys. Um, you, you did really well, but you got through. Um, much of it was the first car I got through out of all our cars, but... Because uh, I went up there at first, and um, I was just still only getting used to the Ute after the tune, because it just drove completely differently. Mm. I was going to go up in high range, but everyone told me just go low, and I did. And it was going sweet, like it was going too easy, so I went to fourth and bang, she got bogged. So, got a while to get out of it, but got and out who, of it. And, and who towed you out? Who towed you out? Winched out, Winched out too. <laughs> <laughs> I got him out, which is pretty cool. But then I was the only one that could go through in second gear high range, mm. so that was cool. So what's the next trip? So, well, are we going to plan a trip to go to Double Island Point soon? Yeah, that's where I want to go. Double so, Island. outside of Brisbane, nice little beach. These are the boys, get ready. Uh, yeah, go have some few beers and have a good week away camping and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. So, so what is it, the whole, what's the whole thing called? So is it Colorado, what's the motor called? RC Colorado and she's got a 4JJ4 4 4 in it. 4JJ1. So. Mm. so what makes it so rare of a motor? It's not rare, everyone's got one. Okay. They're just a good quality what, motor. What makes yours so good, better? Uh, well, just, you know, the tune, tune basically. Yep. Bit extra power. The reason why they're such a good motor is because they weren't designed for big power, but people have discovered that they can make big power out of them and they handle it. Oh, you can see it already. Do you so, reckon it's going to have any like long issues of like, Well, CVs probably out of a stock one, you know, maybe, but because yeah. this one's built, so. And didn't you replace the clutch too, to make it a bit? Yeah, it's like a stronger clutch because I had a um, I had a 300 horsepower MPC clutch and it, it made too much torque for that clutch, so I had right. to go to a, like a 350 wow. horsepower clutch. So obviously you didn't pay for the motor and stuff because I was an insurance job, but how much money all up do you reckon you've spent? Or obviously. You didn't spend the motor, but rough figure. So how much was the car when you first brought it? I don't like thinking about that. <laughs> <laughs> That's something you have never told me. But never well, you know, we're gonna bring it up. You know, he's got a lot of mods in this car, you know, like, on himself, obviously, with a mechanical wise, what you could. I brought I brought it for 17, but they've gone up in value, so I've sort of won a little bit there. Oh, I added up the other day and you know, like I've probably spent about what, maybe 20, 20 plus on it. And then if you add the motor in, then that's like fucking 30 plus. 30 know, plus. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what model is it? So she's a 20, 2010. Yeah, it's you know. fairly new still, but um, 10 years So on. a good time. I brought grand. it for 17 and I wouldn't let it go for anything less than 30, so that's for You mean sure. like 60? <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> pretty crazy. Yeah. Nah, cool. So, yeah. what made you want to get the Colorado? One last question. Because I wanted to get power out of it, basically. Because so. what kind of car do you have before? So I had the um, the RA every day. She had like a five inch lift. That was fun, but it was just slow. It's an old tractor. So you just want to basically get a next upgrade. With a big so motor. it's kind of the same as a day, a better motor, basically. So yeah, wow. Well. Yeah. Just a two inch lift on it. Thirty twos because. I had 33s in the old rig, so I didn't want to, um, you know, be breaking CVs and stuff and wank factor basically, so I didn't need it. And then I went the um, the manual hubs over the auto. Also, so um, oh, um, we come with automatic hubs. Yeah, automatic hubs. Yeah. So it's still press buttons inside. Yeah. So yeah. I went the manual hubs because you know break a CV and then you can't drive it home. So, yeah, so you this way you just out, yeah try off. to send it into a drive if you have to. So. And have you had any like mechanical issues that just recently, like little ones? Do you think that's broken or? Not really, I've been pretty lucky with it apart from, you know, a bit of a nightmare I went through with the motor, but yeah. I broke a CV once, but that's, well, I didn't actually break it, it's because a stick went through and cut the boot, <laughs> filled up with sand. Yeah, it just filled up with sand and started clicking and wow. luckily I was heading home, but so. And what's your what's your plans? What do you want to do now? Like with the car, any, any more mechanical or cool things on that? Well, basically, it's kind of set up how I want. Down the track, I'm not sure if I want to um, get some scrub bars. Oh, yeah, what I, cool. what I really want to do is get scrub bars, side steps, and then have them all welded up and attached so it comes around to the rear bar. Just protection everywhere. Maybe cool. get a locker and stuff, but not for a long time. I'm pretty sick of spending uh, money on that, it. So. That's unless you want to go to Cape York or do something crazy anyway, but you can, this is ready to go to Cape York now. Yeah, basically. But yeah, I wouldn't mind going to Cape York or something. Get up there and pull everyone out. Have you used a rooftop there? No, I haven't yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we were meant to the other weekend, but it's like raining, so. It's just up there for a walk, so. Oh, basically. Yeah. Just the King's catalog. You find it's a bit more when you're driving along a, like a big country road, the wind pushes them more too? On a windy day, yeah, yeah definitely feel it. it feels like a light. It feels bigger than what it is, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's about it, eh? Yeah, so buy yourself Colorado. I'll see. <laughs> yeah, thanks guys. Well, if you like this video, please subscribe and like. If you want to see some more rig, rig downs and whatnot, we'll do some more cars and yeah, a bit of fun. You know, it's, you don't have to spend 45 grand on a good car. You don't have to. Driving. People buy these and just keep them stock and they yeah. do everything still. I just wanted it's to. Even a basic car, 17 grand, if you didn't done nothing to it, still go on the beach, still go fishing, you know. Mm. The, the trick is that if, if you want to go full driving, just have a good set of tyres and a basic lift kit and you pretty much can go anywhere. The Rodeo was fine. I just um, mm. I just wanted more power, so that's why I traded yeah. her in. 100%. Yeah, cool guys. Well, yeah, please subscribe and like. Lindsay out. Timbo's Adventures. <laughs>